All right, uh, Representative Phelps, uh, you have uh, 781. Is, is that uh, the one you want, 440? 440, please. All right, Rep uh, HB 440 provides relative to eating disorders, um, instructions in school. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, and let me apologize. Uh, we were making a quorum next door, and uh, so that's why we both had to step out and we had to vote. All right, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and committee. Um, the, the bill is simply um, that sharing um, information about uh, eating disorders from uh, middle school and high school, I think we've narrowed it down to age appropriateness, um, which would not be any cost to the system um, in our uh, science class or PE education courses. I have worked with um, Oshner's in Shreveport as well as the um, Pennington Institute with um, making sure that the, there would be sharing rifle information. Um, teachers do have an opportunity to have resources, and we're not just asking them to pull down a resource in order to share that information. That's where some of the expert sharings will come in as I continue to work with them. Okay, question by Senator Jackson. Uh, Mr. Chairman, at the appropriate time, I would report, ask that we report this bill favorable. Okay. All right, question by Senator Mills. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to uh, thank Representative Phelps for bringing this. Um, very valuable that our youngest to oldest in, uh, in grades K through 12 understand uh, healthy eating habits and Louisiana's reputation as the unhealthy estate uh, needs to change. And one person at a time, we can do that. Yes, our, our corner of the world up there in northwest Louisiana doesn't have all the resources that uh, that, that they do in Baton Rouge, and Pennington is a remarkable resource. Yes, sir. And uh, I really appreciate you tying them into our area as well as uh, our schools. Thank you for bringing this bill. Thank you. And okay. just to let you know, even the information from Pennington was right on time when I didn't expect it even before the bill. And during um, Eating Disorder um, Awareness Month is when I um, saw the information from Oshner's, one of the, the doctors there. So, thank you. Yes. Uh, and we also have uh, Brandy, is it Brandy Melissa? If you, uh, Melissa Brandy. Uh, if you would come forward, uh, would like to speak on behalf of the bill. Welcome to the committee. Long time no see, Senator Fields. Yeah. You are my senator, in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah, it is good to see you again. Same to you. Um, Chairman Fields, Vice Chairman Johnson, Jackson, committee members, and fellow citizens of Louisiana. Louisiana prides itself on being the most pro life state in the USA. Being pro life, however, doesn't end at 40 weeks gestation nor does it have exceptions for vulnerable humans that have differences they have no control over. Before the pandemic, I reached out to Representative Tammy Phelps and many others about carrying this bill on eating disorder awareness in schools. My reasons for this may shock most who know me and others listening because unlike the right to life that impacts my very existence, Domestic violence that I not only live with the effects of, of from utero and lost my mom to Thanksgiving Eve 2017. Disabilities being that my medical records today have diagnoses that should have me in a vegetative state. If not dead, I'm not out outspoken about this. Since I was 16, anorexia and bulimia have been a major struggle for me. Eating disorders are the most fatal mental health crisis. I wish that my academic career would have included discussions about eating, dis eating disorder awareness and education in PE, but starting in fourth grade, I was taught how to use mixer pads. Students are being bullied and ended their lives for less. Those who suffer in silence with eating disorders already feel unseen and have, feel like they have nowhere to turn for help, being that not all insurances cover quality treatment and some who suffer don't have resources to understand that they matter. Had I had the chance to have awareness raised in PE and other topics, as other topics like adoption are now gonna be allowed, the times that my eating disorders nearly stole my life and damaged my original teeth could have been avoided, 
but it was not discussed in my PE health sessions. So I sit here today advocating to hopefully save others who know the shoes I wore feeling helpless and alone. Bessie had no opposition in house head or a rep in the chamber, said this should be decided by them. I know from dealing with Bessie on disability issues in schools, they usually get direction on curricula and other things from the legislature. So on behalf of those who suffer in silence, please pass HB 440 to at least give those who suffer a chance to know they are not alone and their help is available to deal with the life altering disease. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for coming to testify. You're welcome. And we also have Susan East Nelson um, in support who do not wish to speak. All right, the board is clear. Members, uh, what's your pleasure on House Bill 440? Senator Jackson moves that we report House Bill 440 favorable. Any objections? Here are no objections. That bill is reported favorable. Thank you. Thank you. 